And with that, the International Fight Week card, which is not International Fight Week, um, was was announced, man. Use 251. I'm going to just run down the card real quick. The headliner, Kamaru Usman, Gilbert Burns. It's worth noting, these two are teammates. So th- I'm not sure how that's going to work out. But apparently, Gilbert Burns was the third option. The first, they asked Jorge Masvidal, and Jorge wanted a lot more money. Apparently, they had negotiation issues. Then they went to poor Leon Edwards. And Leon Edwards cannot leave the country due to the UK's extremely strict travel bans. So that man got screwed once again. He got screwed out of the Woodley fight. Now he got screwed out of a title shot. And then finally went to Gilbert Burns, who was the third option. And he got it. He got the title fight. Our boy Gilbert Burns, Darlino. Um, I know we're both very high on him. He got the title shot. So shout out him. Next up on the card, Alexander Volkanovsky, Max Holloway 2, the rematch. Seeing if Blessed, the greatest featherweight of all time, can return to the top and get his title back. Vacant bantamweight title fight, Peter Jan taking on Jose Aldo Jr. Um, amazing fight right there. Uh, Jose does not deserve a title shot, but I'll be damned it's not a fun stylistic fight. Rose Namajunez versus Jessica Andrade 2. Rose and Jessica had an awesome fight before last year before Rose got slammed on her head. Um, absolutely awesome fight right there. And then Paige Van Zant, 12 gauge, making her return, dig on the rising prospect who I'm personally super high on, the Brazilian Amanda Hibas. First of all, there's a lot to analyze about this card, but I'll just ask you straight up. The card is sixty dollars. You have a little bit of money lying around. Do you buy it or not? Just how high do you think of this card? Because I know when it comes to us, we don't buy shit. But would you consider buying this card? I mean, it's it's a great card. I, I would maybe think about it. But, you know, I'm more of the, you know, split split my, you know, split, you know, type of thing. You know, maybe I call a buddy and, you know, we go half and half type deal. Personally. Personally, that's what you do. Yeah. I mean, that's that's what you should always do. I mean, I don't think anybody should honestly buy a $60, $60 pay-per-view on their own, but. But it's not bad. It's, it's, this is great. Let me say that right now. It's like. This is a good car. Like this is worth buying. Like this is worth your money. Yeah, I agree. Um, I, like, is this one of the greatest cards? Like, I don't want to say of all time, but I mean, just take a look at that undercard too. We got Frankie Edgar, Pedro Munoz. I know that's on there. Uh, Yuri Prozaka, I think is how you pronounce his name. Um, is is going to be fighting Volkan Ozdemir. Is this one of the greatest fight cards of all time? It's... Like on paper. It, it, it has to be up there, you know. I think if we maybe sit down one day, it, 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 maybe and you know, put all the cards, you know, lay them out in front of, well, not all the cards, but you know, all the notable ones in front of us, maybe we find ourselves, you know, considering it up really high up there, and you know, probably would. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Regardless, a phenomenal card. I'm super excited for this one. I can't wait to run it down. Like, I feel like kind of it sucks because we we have to wait a bit to kind of preview this fight card. I think it happens July 11th. But regardless, god damn, that's an amazing card. Um, If you were to pick one fight off that main card that you were most excited for, which one would it be? Uh, Man, they're all bangers. But personally, the Max and uh, the Volkovnowski fight is, is definitely the one that's that I will, I'm most excited for. I'm curious to see how Max adapts. Uh, against Alexander in their next go around. Yeah, I'm really high on that fight as well. Um, seeing if Blessed can re- can reclaim the throne, and that one's gonna be an. Aw- because here's the thing: people say that like he got blew out, like blown out of the water in that one, and he kind of did for three rounds. He had no answer to the leg kicks. I thought he won those last two rounds, man. He switched stances. He finally started to find his range, and it looked like he kind of figured out Volkanovski to me, but. Obviously, we'll have to see what happens there. Um, typically, immediate rematches do not go the way of the the former champion or whoever lost the first fight. So, for me, it has to be Jose Aldo, Peter Jan. Um, I love Kamar Usman versus uh, Gilbert Burns. I love Alexander Volkanovski versus Mask Hall. I love all the fights on the main card, even PVC and Amanda Hilas. But listen, man, Jose Aldo, Peter Jan, that's an awesome fight right there, man. Like For the vacant title, neither guy should be there, but the striking in that fight, Holy shit! That's gonna be that's gonna be an amazing fight, striking wise, to see those two go at it. Um, and for me, it's the first real big test of Peter Jan. I mean, I know he beat Jimmy Rivera. I know he beat. I think I know. He, I think he beat John Dodson. I don't remember though. Um, I know he beat Uriah Faber, the 41-year-old 
we were not 41. I think he's actually only 40. I think I gave him a couple. I think I gave him an extra year. Um, but uh, yeah, obviously beat Uriah, but he was a bit older, not very active. But yeah, uh, that's 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 an awesome fight for both guys there. I'm super psyched for that one. So yeah. Uh,